Hi guys, it's Tara from Run Happy. So I did a review on the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil and the Procreate app a long time ago, probably around the time when it first came out. And since then, there's been a lot of updates. I've spent a lot of time on it. And I just wanted to share with you some of my favorite features that the app has and why I love it so much. So here I am in the Procreate app. All right, so just for basics, um, all your settings and stuff are up here. You can do multiple layers and move layers around once you draw on them. Then you can also select layers and move them around or group them or delete certain layers. You can also merge layers together. These are all where your brushes are. There's a lot that comes preloaded on the app. These are all ones I've bought from other people. Some I love, some aren't my favorite, but I will link to some of my favorites down below. I also have two free brushes on my website and they're free to download. I have a Rad and Happy Smooth and a Rad and Happy Pressure. When you're in the brushes, there is like 8 million settings for all of these brushes. One feature I want to go over though is this streamline feature. It's under stroke and this came with one of their more recent updates and it's game changer. So I'll kind of show you the difference. So this is an example of without it. And as you can see I'm pretty shaky. Now I will show you with it, and two finger tap is a race, which is super handy. So now if I turn this streamline feature up, usually I do it just barely all the way, but this is what it looks like. And as you can see, so much smoother, so much better. So this feature is my friend. It is amazing. So the brushes on my website that you download for free have the streamline turned all the way down, but you can set that to whatever you want and how much you want. So basically your options are pretty endless, but I'm just going to show you a few of my favorites. So I love this duplicate and so it just duplicates the layer. So you have two of them and you can move this around and do whatever you want with it. Down here, if you can see, there's freehand and automatic. So the freehand selection, you can draw your selection. So sometimes I like that when I just want like a piece of this. And then I can move that around and do whatever I want with it. But one that is super handy, which is new-ish, is this automatic one. And you can select something and it selects the whole thing for you. This is like crazy handy. I use it all the time, constantly. I love it. Another thing with the selection is you can select a piece of it. Three finger swipe lets you cut, copy, or paste. So you can cut it, add a new layer, three finger down, paste it. So now it's in its own layer, which is awesome if you want more control just over this section of your piece. So the other question I get asked a lot is how I get my lines straight. So this is another thing that Procreate does, which is amazing. But you can be writing like this, but then when you hold your pen down, it'll straighten your line for you. And you can also move that line around. So when I'm writing, I can straighten out my lines, which is super nice. So that one would have been crooked, but I can just and straighten it. Try it again. I can line it up how I want it. Ta da! So that's kind of how I do that. Then from there, you can resize, you can do all, all sorts of things, you can move stuff around, like so. You can also insert images from your camera roll. So you can either 
set up your screen beforehand or you can just import one. So I'm going to go here to my camera roll, import this one, and then usually I like to add a new layer and then I can draw right on this image. Another one of my very favorite things is color. I wrote this in black. Let's say I want to change the color. I can use this and like select a color. So like let's say I want the same color as my hair. And then I can drag and drop this where I want it. So if I'm here, like so. So I can do it that way. Or I can come here and I can pick a color from my palette. I have personally loaded a lot of these in here. These don't all come with it, but there is a Procreate forum where people share all sorts of wonderful things. I got these from there. I'll also link that below. But let's say you want one of these colors, so I want it an actual red, so I want it this red, and then I can come over and I can do it that way. And you can also come over here if you want to fine tune the color even more with the color wheel. So another feature with color that comes in super handy is this recolor dealy down here so I can select that and you'll see how I have this selector I can scroll that over to a certain color so this brown color if I put it on the brown color it's going to recolor anything that's that color to this color one other way you can do this is you can pick a color here and you can come here you tap it and you hit select so that means that is selected and then you tap it again and you can just fill it so lots of easy ways to do the same thing. Okay, another cool feature is if you use two fingers and you swipe it, it gives it an alpha lock. And so everything you do will only be applied to that layer. So I have this yellow selected. And let's say I want to do an airbrushing, so a medium airbrush. And then I can just paint on that alpha locked layer. So another feature that's really fun, especially if you do a more complex image than this, is if you go to video here and you do time-lapse replay, it just kind of shows you what you did. And for some reason, it is so entertaining to watch. <laughs> Ta -da, all my favorite features in one happy little YouTube video. But seriously, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and inspiring you to give the app a chance, or if you're on the fence about the iPad Pro and if you want to get it, or for pure, rad, and happy entertainment, whatever brought you to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to ask any questions below and I will either answer them or do a follow-up video, whichever is easier in explaining. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. And you guys are wonderful and I love you and I'm so glad you're here and supporting me and all my shenanigans. You guys are the best. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next week. Bye.